Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create workflows in minutes with Pabli Connect. So here I want to integrate Facebook leads and WhatsApp. So let's say that I'm promoting my business using Facebook lead ads and here every time a new lead is received, then automatically I want to send a message on WhatsApp to the person sharing the product details. Now to do that, I'll have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here the trigger will be Facebook lead ad and the action application will be any application with the help of which you can send WhatsApp messages like intro WhatsApp Cloud API, WhatsApp by AI Sensei, etc. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Public Connect and you can reach here with the link which is given in the video description. Then once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's this tab create workflow. Click on this and you have to mention the name of your workflow here. I'm going to name it as per my objective and now I'm going to click on create here. So as we do that here, we have reached another window and this window has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are the two building blocks of automation. Trigger this when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now in our use case, this trigger application will be Facebook lead ads. Then we have the trigger event and this here will be new lead instance. So this workflow is going to run every time a new lead is received. Here I'm going to click on connect and now Pabli Connect wants to connect with Facebook lead ads account. Here I have selected add new connection, connect with Facebook lead ads. I have already logged into my Facebook account so we can see that the connection is all set. Now once this is done here we have to select the page and the lead generation form associated. So this here is my Facebook account and I'm going to take you to different pages that I have created. So let's say the page that I have created here this ABC finance company. Now I'm going to take you back and here I'm going to look for ABC finance company and next is the lead generation form since there is only one form associated so it has already been captured by the system and now we have to receive a test lead to understand if the integration is correct for this i'm going to first click on save and send test request always make sure that the lead generation form associated is live okay now here it is asking to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. To receive this data, I'm going to take you to Metaphor Developers page. Let's go to my applications, tools. Within tools, we have lead add RTO debug tool. And now here I'm going to select the page and the form associated. This particular tool is going to help me in testing the integration. Now here I have selected the page and i'm now going to click on preview form and now let's fill up the form so let's say the first name here is smart then the last name here is demo then we have the email address which is smart at pablitudes.com and then we have the phone number click on next and submit let's go back to pabli connect to see if we have captured the webhook response here and we can see that yes, we have received the response. So we have received the first name, last name, email address, phone number and created date and time. Now I want to send a WhatsApp message to this lead that we have just received. For this, I'm going to choose the action application, which is WhatsApp by ESNC. We have the action event and here it will be sent template message. Now here I'm going to click on connect and here again, I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection with WhatsApp by AISNC account, I need this API key. For this, first I'm going to take you to my AISNC account. Let's go to manage. Within manage, we have API key. This here is the key. Click to copy, go back to Pabli Connect and paste the same here. Click on save. Once done, now here we have to fill in this information. So in WhatsApp by SNC, we have got different campaigns created already. So you can see these are the campaigns created. And recently I have created a campaign. The name is lead received. Let me show you the same. So here the campaign type is API message type is this. Then we have the template name created date and time. And this here is the template dear. Then there's a number within double curly braces. And this here is the message. Now the number that is written within double curly braces is known as a variable and the value can be changed every time you receive a new response so i'm going to now copy the name of this particular campaign go back to public connect here i'm going to paste the same delete the refresh part then we have to map the mobile number with the country code so yes we have received the number with the country code we have done that now let's map the name of the person 
so here we have mapped the name now this method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs and receives some new data then that new information can be taken into consideration had i written this manually in that case the information would have become static and then the new response wouldn't have been taken into consideration so to avoid that we map the information next we have the source so here i'm going to write facebook leads then we have the tags so here i'm going to write new lead then we have the template parameter so here we have to enter the value of the variable so the variable that we had was name so here i have entered the value of the variable then if you have any attributes you can add the same here then we have the url and file name so if you want any file to be attached so the name can come here and the url can come here now i'm going to click on save and send test request and as we do that here we can see we have received the response according to this now the person must have received a whatsapp message let's go and check the same and here you can see that yes we have received the message so this means our integration here is a complete success now let's check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to meta for developers page and here i'm going to fill out another form now let's see the first name here is demo the last name is user then the email is demo at publitudes.com and then we have the mobile number let's click on next and submit and now let's go back to whatsapp to see if we have received another message and you can see we have received another message so this means our integration is a complete success taking you back to public connect let's quickly understand what we have done so here the trigger was facebook lead ads the event was new lead instant and our action application was whatsapp by snc where the event was to send template message I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.